See, I don't, they say, don't look at price until you're ready to buy. Don't, don't look at the price until you, not even until you're ready, until you absolutely know that you want it. It's not about how much it costs. It's about how bad you want it. Once you know that you want it and you determine that you're going to buy it, then all you have to do is figure out what you're going to do in exchange for what you want. But you think of it backwards. You let the price, the sticker shock, stop you. Right. I'm going to show you how numbers work real quick. Look at that number, right? It's not intimidating. You just see that number. That's still not intimidating. But let me show you how our mind have been programmed and tricked. What did I do? I put a symbol in front of the number. All of a sudden, that number became intimidating. All of a sudden, the energetic property of that number changes. All I did was put a symbol in front of the number. It become a price. And now you either continue to go forward or you repulse it. If anything that you get access has now been repulsed, you're no longer attracting it. You've seen the number and you said it was too much. So anything that this gives access to, you have decided that you're fearful of. You no longer want it. It don't matter if this gives you access to this, this, this. Because <laughs> we've been programmed to think in a poverty-based way. So I don't let numbers, I don't let the price of things control me. Crazy as hell. I buy what I want. Buy what I want. If I if I want a house, I'm going to get a house. I don't care whether I got the dollars in my bank account. That's not how you buy things. You buy things with your mind. Because your mind is what produces the value in the first place. People think that we even need money to buy. You don't always need money to buy things. You need will, determination, and you have to decide that you want it and you're, you're going to execute in order to get it. I've decided that so many times in my life and then I got it. But you have to meet the vibration. You can fire your job and become a boss. You can afford the things you want, your time, your energy, time with your family, trips that you want to take, the cars, the clothes. You know what I mean? You can jump into investments. You have more time to even think and be clear-minded. It may take sacrifice. Shoo. Sure. But guess what? You're already working 40 hours a week. It ain't going to take that much time. Ain't nobody sitting there trading all goddamn day. I, don't, I ain't got to sit there and do business all day. I move when I want to. You know what I'm talking about? 